Hi everyone, my name's Nikki and I'm doing a review today of the game Two Point Hospital on the Nintendo Switch. This is a game that I was really, really excited to play. Um, I used to play Theme Hospital a lot when I was younger and so I really wanted to get this game just for the nostalgia really. Um, so fortunately we were able to pick it up quite cheap. Um, we got the physical copy, which was £25. I believe it's on the eShop at the moment for £35. So the premise of the game is essentially that you are a hospital administrator. Um, the Two Point Hospital game has a um, map view. Uh, you start with the basic hospital and you have to work your way up through the levels so that you can move on to the bigger and better hospitals um, that have better features. As you can see, there is uh, quite a large map. I'm only on the third hospital uh, at the moment, so I don't know how many hospitals there are as you progress. I know that there are a further two, uh, at least after the one that I'm on at the moment, um, but it looks like there could be quite a few um, which is really good uh, because it feels like you're getting a lot of value for your money and a lot of gameplay. So essentially the way it works is that you start off with your one um, basic hospital building um, and you have to build the different rooms, the different treatment rooms, uh, diagnosis rooms inside the hospital. Um, you hire staff and as they progress and as you treat more patients uh, you are able to expand your hospital because you make more money so you can buy other buildings um, and expand your hospital so that obviously you can treat more patients, make more money and continue to grow. Now obviously the aim of the game is to have a profitable hospital um, so you have to take all kinds of things into account. So you have to make sure that you have uh, good staff uh, you hire doctors and nurses who obviously diagnose and treat patients. Uh, you have assistants who basically run reception and the news agents. And then you have janitors who have to keep the hospital clean and um, look after the maintenance of the hospital. So repairing machines, upgrading machines and things like that. Have to keep your staff happy uh, because if they're happy, they work harder, they work better. And that in turn makes your patients happy. As the game progresses and you continue to improve, uh, new things are unlocked. So for example, new treatment rooms. Um, the game is really helpful. It will give you a pop-up and let you know uh, if you have a patient that needs a new kind of treatment that you haven't built yet. Um, and will prompt you so that you can get that built and keep the patient happy. Throughout the game, you'll be issued with um, mini challenges and tasks. So, for example, you will have VIPs who come to visit the hospital. Uh, you have to keep the hospital clean, make sure everything's running efficiently uh, to get good results from them. So you might have the health inspector or a local celebrity or the mayor. Uh, essentially, when they come and have a look around the hospital, uh, if it goes well and you get a good review, then you will get some money uh, and some K coins, uh, which I'll speak about later, um, and your reputation will increase. Obviously, if the visit goes badly, you don't get any of those things and your reputation will decrease, which will in turn make your patients unhappy or make patients less likely to come to your hospital. When you get to the third hospital, which is where I am now, um, there is an added benefit of um, staff training and research. So you can build training rooms and as your staff um, become more experienced, they have training slots. Uh, which means that different members of staff can train and share their skills with them uh, so that they become more efficient workers, become more motivated or learn new skills. This in turn leads to staff promotions, uh, which means that the staff are um, a higher position, they're better, more efficient workers and in turn you can give them a promotion and a pay rise, which will keep them happy. Now, the thing that I love about this game is, as with Theme Hospital, uh, the controls are very easy, they're very straightforward. 
um, you select the items that you want to place, you build the rooms that you want to build um, very, very easily. I'm not much of a gamer, I'll be honest, um, and I found this very, very easy to um, control and to build. Um, it didn't take me long to work around what I needed to do um, and how I could find the different bits of information that I needed. Uh, so really, if I could do it, anyone can. Liam had mentioned to me that uh, some people had complained about the size of the text on the game and that they found it difficult to read. Um, I haven't had that problem at all. I don't know if it's because I'm playing it only in handheld mode. I don't know if it makes a difference uh, compared to playing it on the screen. Um, but certainly I haven't had any issues with that at all. In terms of battery life, uh, I find that I'm getting about two hours of gameplay um, from a full charge. Um, it's really good that it then takes two hours for the console to recharge again so that I can play because this game is really, really addictive. Uh, and without that need to recharge the Switch, to be honest, I think I would just be sat on it all day, every day. As you complete challenges, you're also issued with um, K coins um, and those coins can be used to unlock extra items uh, throughout the game. So those are things that uh, make the rooms better, make people happier. So for example, better seating, better snack machines, uh, just things like that that are going to actually make the game much more easy uh, for you to complete because it keeps patient and staff morale high. As you complete certain challenges throughout the game, uh, you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen, um, my hospital at the moment is a two star hospital. Um, once you complete all of the challenges that are listed underneath successfully, uh, you then move up a star rating, so it would become a three star hospital. Um, at that point, you can then move on to the new hospitals uh, in the next levels. I think in general this is just a really fun game to play, um, it's really addictive, the time passes so quickly uh, when you're playing it. Um, it's good for people who like, as I say, the, the old fashioned games, I used to love Theme Park World and Theme Hospital, uh, I also used to play The Sims a lot, so it's good in that respect, it's one of those games where you are just taking control of the situation managing everyone uh, and just trying to make sure you have a successful hospital. All in all, I would absolutely recommend this game. Um, I think it's a great price. Uh, I think the graphics are good. It's easy to play. Um, it's so addictive. You're going to get hours and hours of enjoyment out of this game. Um, so absolutely recommend if you're someone like me who likes the look of these kind of games, um, then I would say go for it. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, it's the first one I've ever done. Um, if you have enjoyed it, maybe just leave a, a little comment for Liam uh, so that he knows whether to hire me to do a little guest slot again. Um, thank you very much for watching.